Hi, this is your tutorial about the pipe flushing problem. It is a basic geometry problem done three times plus a conversion. This problem actually does use quite a bit of your CEG 115 conversion framework skills. So you can see that you are given three pipes and they are in inches of diameter, but the length of the pipe is in yards, miles, or feet. You are given a conversion unit ratio that one cubic foot is 7.48 gallons. Your final answer has to be in whole gallons, and you are told that you must flush the system with twice the volume of the system. So since you are given the conversion ratio of one cubic foot, to gallons, it makes sense to change all of your diameters, all of your lengths into feet. And that just uses basic bits of information that you should already have under your belt, such as the number of feet in a yard, the number of feet in a mile, and the number of inches in a foot. And you can see those are the conversions listed there. So then, um, you just have to look at how to find the volume. Well, each pipe is a cylinder. They curve, but really it is a cylinder. So for each pipe, the volume of it will be its end area times its length. Now we are using the annular or inside diameter, so you don't even need to figure that out. So the circular end area is pi r squared, but you're given a diameter, so radius is half the diameter, and so the volume of each pipe is its length in feet times pi times its diameter in feet divided by 2 and squared. The volume to flush is twice that amount, so go ahead and multiply it by 2. Notice you are not rounding anywhere. That is why it is useful to have a calculator with a stack or to use Excel and use cell references because then you're not inadvertently rounding or truncating numbers simply because you're writing them down on a piece of paper. You can let the machine go out to you know, 10, 12, 14 decimal places if it needs to and it'll keep track of all that for you. And then you just use the conversion framework to change from cubic feet to gallons, use conventional rounding to get to the nearest whole gallon, and you've got the amount that you need to flush the pipe system with. Simple as that. If you have any questions, please message me or come see me during office hours, and I hope that this has helped you.